Jan from England. Jan. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum salam to Allah. Um, I just wanted to ask you, um, is it permissible to play Among Us? It's, it's like a game where um, you have to pretend to be a murderer and you like kill people and you're like a sussy imposter and basically um, people have to try to guess who the killer is and it, it's based on lying, so. Usually I don't like commenting on video games and games that are online as such because the amount of haram is a lot in it, and the people are so hooked into it that your answer might be quite weird to them. Now, to me, there are essentials and important things and priorities in life. Are video games part of them? No. Now, when we are asked about video games, and people say, Sheikh, there's a game that is based on hijacking or stealing or uh, hot wiring a car and running away from police. It's fun, Sheikh. Mm, can we play it? I said, these things in real life, are they halal or haram? It's haram. Okay, what about killing one another, Sheikh? We are teams and we kill and shoot. It's a shooting game and we kill one another and we hide in a maze and when we find our opponent, we kill him and <coughs> he has a name and we know him. What's the ruling on killing in Islam? Sheikh, it's a game. So if there's a game based on rape and you can keep on ra raping people, is that fun? It's a game. No, haram in real life is haram also in virtual life because this is how you're brainwashed. This is how you're set. Why do we say Allahu Akbar more than 300 times a day? Why do you say praise be to, be, uh, be to Allah? Why do you say glorified uh, is Allah Azza wa Jal? This is heart washing, not brainwashing, because it elevates you and gets you closer to Allah. The opposite is the same. When you only listen to rap music that praises killing and looting and drugs and women. Or you play such games that legitimizes such haram activities, then this is what you end up doing and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.